In this video, guys, I want to go over what a paradigm shift is, when it has occurred before in history, and why it is imperative for the evolution of consciousness. And that's coming up on Inner Luminosity. I used to be so beautiful, now look at me. My actions are unbeautiful, it's clear to see. Welcome, guys, to my channel where we explore life together and grow, merging our consciousnesses, guys. Guys, I'm very excited about today's upload. Oh, guys, I, I, I got a little organized with this one because it was a must, guys. Now, along my journey, guys, like I have explained before, I found that it's uh, through scientific ways, right? I would go in scientific uh, YouTube channels, right? Put a comment, and I would get, wow, now you're talking woo-woo stuff. I was like, whoa, wait a minute. Why is he calling this woo-woo stuff, right? Has he looked into it? Let's get to the bottom of this. Just got me thinking, guys. Got me researching. And um, you know what? I found a very close system called ontological mathematics. And I feel it is a science of the future, guys. And in this series, I plan on going over it very slowly in a manner. Because I understand our attention span is not that great. A lot of us tune off. So I'm going to try to make this as helpful to you as well um, and in the future I hope kids are able to come across these and uh, it changes their whole viewpoint anyways alright guys let's first start off with a paradigm what exactly is that well I got a little graphic here I'll put up Bing okay so basically guys the old uh, basic huge paradigm that we had was when um, I believe it was um, Galileo or uh, who introduced the, I'll put a picture up here, the Ptolemaic geocentric model. It is the old way and basically they described how the earth was the center of the universe, right? And this went along for a long time because people were more going, um, they were more taking things faith-based, right? The old way of thinking, right? So they believed this to be because Christ or the sun could only live in the center of the universe, right? So as time went on, Copernicus found the new model, bing, the heliocentric model, which is the one paradigm that we go now that we see that we revolve around the sun, right? That's the new paradigm. Okay, so you see how that paradigm shift occurred, how that's what needs to occur now, guys, and that's what's going on now. But we have got to get to the bottom, to the, to the very center of what reality is, all right? And this is a tough one to do, guys. This is a tough one. So first, we've got to start with what is absolute truth, right? I look at this pin, okay? I'm going to say it's a pin, but that's just a word I'm saying. Pen, pen. Vibrations, right? Pen. But what exactly is it? We would have to get a microscope, right? Looking down. Down, down, down the microscope. What do we get? Okay, we get matter. We get molecules. A little picture of molecules okay let's break that down more guys remember we are seeking absolute truth we are trying to start all our paradigm of thinking from absolute truth and then build from there so molecules right what are molecules made of atoms okay what let's get smaller what are atoms let's break that down what are atoms made of here we go now we're gonna get smaller atoms are made of protons neutrons and electrons okay that's everything that's around you right can we break they can we break those three down anymore we sure can 
Electrons. All right, let's break the electron down. When you break an electron down, you get what scientists are calling elementary particles, right? The substance of everything. Protons and neutrons, you break those down. It's just little up or down quarks. So do me a favor, look around you, okay? That's what's all around you, up or down quarks, elementary particles. Now, scientists have said this themselves, they do not know what the substance of elementary particles are. They have said this, this is key guys, this is key statement here. Scientists have said they do not know what elementary particles are made of. So, from that statement, we can clearly say that scientists don't know what the hell is going on, right guys? Look around you. You are surrounded by a mystery. Now that is where we must start this new way of thinking from there. Then we can explain through using mathematics, ontological mathematics, guys. And in my next episode, I want to start breaking that down, but I just wanted to give you an introduction to what paradigm shift is, where we must start, and then we will build from there, creating the truth of this world, transforming minds, and then and only then shall we wake up to this collective dream we are in. So just to sum everything up, guys, this world is going through an awakening. Now, we must teach our kids to stop looking at life through a materialistic viewpoint, right? And let's start getting scientific idealism, right? Let's explore with an open mind. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys listening to this first episode of Ontological Mathematics. Know thyself through absolute truth. Ooh, I'm excited about the next one, guys. I love you guys, and I'm so grateful to be on this, in this dream with you guys. <laughs> Woo! Namaste. Through struggle to the stars.